Croatia is a country at the crossroads of Central and Southeast Europe. The country is historically rich and the alleys in these places could take you back to the past. And it has been home to the Neanderthals and is known to have significant cultures like the Baden, Starsevo, and Vucidol cultures. The country dates back to the Iron Age, some even say it dates back to the Stone Age. So we have listed our picks of the top 10 things to do in Croatia. So sit back and relax as we take you on a virtual trip to Croatia. Oh, and number 4 is a must if you love Game of Thrones as much as we do. On the 10th number, we have the Museum of Broken Relationships in Zagreb. This museum was founded by film producers Olinka Vistica and Drazen Gribsik, a sculptor. The idea started as a joke, they laughed about setting up a museum with the leftover belongings. Well, they made it happen, and the next thing you know, people from all over the world donate things to the museum as a symbol of letting go. The museum houses the items and a backstory. One thing in particular that stands out is the blue-headed axe that a lady from Berlin used to destroy all the furniture. Now the axe is a symbol of therapeutic move-on. The museum has a very unusual concept and that is what stands out. What's more, they even received the Kenneth Hudson Award presented by the European Museum Forum, the EMF. Number 9 we have the Yacht Week or Sail Week. There's no better way to explore Croatia than by the sea. They say it reveals their true secret. Croatia is diverse in terms of sailing with unspoiled bays, spectacular scenery islands, and the clean and clear water that surrounds them. It is affordable and safe. You can even rent a boat and sail through the seas. It's a very pleasant experience, and if you don't know how to ride a boat, they also provide a crash course. With 2,000 islands, islets, and reefs with very mainland ports and anchorages, they'll steal your heart away. And not to mention the week-long party where you get a designated cabin in these yachts which align together to create a massive raft along the seashores. While everyone's in the water swimming and partying behind the boats or cliff diving, it is a wonderful venue. Coming on to number 8, we have Split. With a rich history, this place deserves a place on the list. The former Greek colony has a lot to offer like the Diocletian Palace which was built for the Roman Emperor. The beaches are magnificent, be it Bakvais Beach or Kasuni Beach, Split's old town is also worth a visit. This place oozes history, the narrow passageways and the structures that surround it makes you feel like you're back in time. Don't forget about the Temple of Jupiter. The last three temples are standing within the perimeter of the palace. The Cathedral of St. Dominus was built as a mausoleum of Diocletian. It is also the oldest cathedral and is still operational with all its original structure intact. Take a hike in the Marjan Hill or cycle around, you can even try rock climbing. The wildlife and the flora are serene and peaceful and the locals refer to Marjan as the lungs of Split. On number 7, we urge you to check out Zadar Sea Organ and Sun Salutation. Nikola Basic is an architect and he has created two spectacular wonders that accentuate and perfectly harness Zadar's famous sunset. Sea organ is a musical instrument made from pipes drilled through the stone stairs that eventually descend into the sea. The sea magically plays the sea organ with the sloshing forward pushing air through the pipe. The sunset then features a series of circles made from photovoltaic glass panels that are embedded in the pavements. These panels also store solar energy that is then utilized to power the whole waterfront. These pavements then emit light from beneath the glass, exhibiting a mesmerizing display that simulates the solar system. On number 6, we have Tito's Tunnels. Secret army tunnels running beneath the Croatian island of Viz is a, pal is a place you should see. These tunnels are a passage drawn by the Yugoslav army and it has attracted a lot of tourists since its opening to the public. The labyrinth of these underground tunnels and the remains of abandoned warehouses and cannons significantly accentuate the value of this place. Many of these tunnels have been adapted for civilian use and some of them are converted into wine cellars. Moreover, the water that surrounds the premises is crystal clear and Viz appears as perfect Adriatic vacation spot. This place is the best and most important island in the Adriatic Sea. The island features beautiful beaches, preserved nature, ecological agriculture, and preserved traditional architecture, and all of these contribute to the diversity of history the place has. The island of Viz is a must in Croatia. On number 5, we have the Midget National Park. This place is one of my favorites. You can take a walk or cycle around the premises on your way to the Great Lake or the small ones. These lakes are a result of a unique oceanographic and geological phenomenon. 
They originated about 10,000 years ago as freshwater lakes and now as the Salina Bay connects them with the sea. The lakes have become salty. The island also includes Velika Jezero, Salin Bay, and the sea belt which is about 500 meters wide covering an area of 54 kilometers square. Number 4, take a tour in the Game of Thrones vibe. Croatia is the place to be for the true Game of Thrones lovers. The coastal city of Dubrovnik is the place famously known for the shooting of a Game of Thrones and there are various Game of Thrones tours to book in this area and that'll lead you to different highlights. The Dubrovnik Lovrijnak Fort was the area where most of the Red Keep scenes, the West Pier for the Blackwater Bay, the Jesuit Star off St. Dominica Street for Cersei Lannister's Walk of Atonement. The place has since gained recognition for serving a lead role in the aesthetics of the movie. You can also visit the Minceta Tower which was used at the House of Undying in Quarth, and you can also visit the throne in the movie which just sits about 15 minutes away through a ferry and a museum on the island of Lokrum. Number 3 Relax on Croatia's Beaches Well, if you like beaches then you'll love Croatia. There are many beaches that might just do you right. The most famous beach is the Zlatni Rat Beach. The name comes from the shape of the beach that looks like a rat. The shoreside is beautifully dotted with shiny pebbles and it is mostly called the Golden Cape or the Golden Horn. The area is big enough for families or romantic couples, the place is very beautiful and you can enjoy the day windsurfing through the Adriatic Sea. On number 2 we have visit the old town of Dubrovnik. The old town of Dubrovnik takes you back to the medieval ages. The rugged limestone mountains are famous for the pristinely preserved medieval cities all over the world. The walls are made of stone and could date back as long as the 11th century. The preservation has led to Dubrovnik Center de designated as a World Heritage Site. The palaces, the churches, monasteries, squares, monuments, old port, or even the city walls. The place can give a you exact picture of what the medieval ages looked like. Number 1 Chase Waterfalls and Plitvis Lakes National Park Now this one is the largest and the oldest national park in Croatia. This park was also inscribed in the UNESCO World Heritage Site. The place is remarkable with nature and to its full glory, the picture-perfect tufa lakes and the caves bustling with the rivers. The lakes form a cascade-like and natural fountain and there are 16 lakes naturally arranged in a pristine formation with small streams and rivers. The lakes are all interconnected and it proves to you that God is the greatest artist there is. So these were our top 10 things to do in Croatia. Do you think we missed anything? Well, comment below for us and the viewers to see and we'll add them in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, please subscribe to our channel for more amazing content like this and hit the notification bell to not miss any new updates. Give the video a like. Give the video a like if you think it deserves one and if you have any kind suggestions, we're open to them in the comment section. Take care, stay safe, and we'll see you next time.